Hi, I'm Mason Marangella from Vertex FX, and today we're going to hear if our steel string Supreme can do the Eric Johnson tone. If you're not aware of who Eric Johnson is, I just have to say, well, where have you been if you're a guitar player? He's certainly one of the most iconic guitar players, not only of my generation, but probably two generations even before me. Eric Johnson sort of redefined the tones for blues and fusion and rock and roll music and is certainly one of the most iconic individual artists, guitar players, and vocalists that has been in existence since the 1980s. Now, Eric Johnson was famous for using a Dumble steel string singer, also another Dumble called the Man's Amp, and we're going to be emulating some of those tones that he used to get through the steel string singer using our steel string Supreme, which is a Dumble emulating pedal, if you're not at all familiar with it, based on the actual steel string singer since the SSS moniker. So the first thing we're going into is a vintage fuzz face. I have my own vintage fuzz face here from the early 70s, silicon style fuzz face. That's being used for the lead tones, but not for any of our dirty rhythm or our clean tones today. We then go into the Dynacomp. The Dynacomp is being used for only the clean tones. That comes on and off depending on, again, whether we're doing clean or we're doing dirty rhythm or lead where it wouldn't be used in that context. From there, it then enters the pedal board. The pedal board, we have the Steel String Supreme, which is doing the amplifier emulation for the direct sound, but is also doing the amplifier emulation going into the Fender Deluxe Reverb because the Fender Deluxe Reverb doesn't emulate those original Eric Johnson Steel String Singer amps that he used back in the day. So that's what we're using the Steel String Supreme to do today. Now also, pieces that are going into this. We have the Deluxe Memory Man that's gonna be used through both clean and dirty examples. We also have the Stereo Chorus from TC Electronics that's also gonna be used in all the clean and dirty and dirty rhythm examples. We're also, for our dirty rhythm, gonna be bringing in a TS-10 Tube Screamer because sometimes Eric Johnson would use that to tighten up some of the lead tones and just give it a little bit more body. So you're gonna hear an amalgamation of all those pedals used and we're gonna indicate that for you in each one of the shots so you know what's being used to achieve what tones. For this first clip, we're gonna be going for the Eric Johnson lead tone. So what we're gonna be doing is having the fuzz face active. We're also gonna be using the Deluxe Memory Man the stereo chorus from TC Electronics, and then we're gonna be using the Steel String Supreme as basically being our amplifier, as, as though this was what all those effects were running into, just like Eric Johnson would have done. And then we're gonna have one side of the Steel String going to the Deluxe Reverb, so you can hear that. And the other side of it is gonna be going to the Two Notes Cab M to do our power amp simulation and to do our speaker simulation and the speaker cabinet simulation. And we're gonna be toggling back and forth with those. And I've brought in my good friend, Doug Doppler, who is an amazing guitar player, who's gonna be our Eric Johnson today to see if we can really nail those tones using the Steel String Supreme and accompanying them with some of these pedals that Eric Johnson is known to use. <laughs> Next, we're gonna hear the dirty rhythm tone that Eric Johnson goes for. This is gonna be using a couple of different devices. We're gonna be using, of course, the Tube Screamer, because that's something that Eric would commonly use. Again, then going in to our Memory Man, gotta have a little delay on there, using a little bit of movement from the Stereo Chorus. Then we're coming back into the Steel String Supreme again to be our amplifier, and then we got that split out, one side going to the Deluxe Reverb, the other side going to the Two Notes Cab M, and you're gonna get to hear us toggle back and forth as Doug takes us through some of the Eric Johnson Dirty Rhythm tones. <laughs> Finally, we're gonna hear the clean Eric Johnson tone. Now this is one of my favorite Eric Johnson tones. Although people love his distortion tones, I really love how it's clean. It kind of has a combination between 
Holdsworth and some of them kind of just my favorite ethereal kind of ambient tones. So for that, what we're going to be using is the MXR Dynacomp. It's then going to go over, grab some of the Memory Man for delay, then go into the TC Stereo Chorus. It's then going to come back into the Steel String, and that's going to split out. One side's going to go again to the Two Notes Cab M for the simulation sound going direct, and then the other side's going to go right into the Fender Deluxe Reverb. <laughs> Big thank you to Doug Doppler for really coming with those Eric Johnson tones. It is not something that is easy to do to be able to nail some of those. His timing is very unique. His whole approach to the instrument is very unique. And so to be a chameleon and being able to go out of your comfort zone and get some of those tones, big applause to Doug for nailing those. So thanking him for that. And if you're interested in checking out any of the Eric Johnson tones, of course, I highly recommend you, you check out a fuzz face, you check out some sort of Dynacomp, some version of the Memory Man is going to be great. And then, of course, the incomparable TC Stereo Chorus. And if you want to emulate some of those amp tones that Eric was getting back in those times, definitely check out our Steel String Supreme. It will very much get you in that territory. And even though this wouldn't have been what he would have used for some of the overdrive or some of the high gain lead tone stuff, I think, as you can see, that this still very very well emulates some of those classic tones, even though it may have been dissimilar to the Marshall Plexi amps that he might have been using. Pair it with a couple of good pedals, they're in the Eric Johnson vein, run them into that in some sort of cab simulation like the two notes we're using today, and you'll definitely be an Eric Johnson Nirvana without question. The other thing I should mention is if you do like the tones that we're getting today, I'm going to be giving you the IRs that we use inside the two notes, which is replicated from one of my Dumble style cabinets made by Kerry Wright, a 212 with G1265s. That's going to be linked for free in the description. So if you have a two notes and you want to download that IR, it will be available to you. If you like what you saw today, I highly recommend that you like, you subscribe, you leave us a comment, you tell us if we're crazy. Did you think that we didn't get close to the Eric Johnson tone? Or if we left some key ingredients out that you think would be worthwhile in exploring, please tell us that in the comments below. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, I'm Mason Marangella from Vertex Effects. See you later.